look amazing, Miss Wendy. Wendy Raquel, a.k.a. the legendary Tasha Mack in the house. How are you feeling? We're here at the premiere, season two, the game, Paramount Plus. You know, I wasn't even expecting it to be all of this. I was like, oh my God, yes, it's like a premiere premiere. It's, I mean, it's exciting. We didn't even have it for the first one. So this is like really, it's, it's, it's special. It's a blessing. I feel like um, we're reimagining the reimagination of the game once again. So it's, it's so exciting. And talk to us about that. What did it take to get this reboot greenlit? Because, I mean, you guys have been first premiered in 2006 on the CW. 06 to 09, then on BET, and then now you guys are back. What did it take to get that show to come back? Patience, uh, prayer, yes. perseverance, yes. and a whole lot of fortitude and forethought. forethought. And um, I really got to give it up to Devon, Devon Gregory, who is our showrunner. Um, you know, we had one reincarnation that we were going to do with CW, and that didn't pan out. And then... Um, Paramount Plus came in and said, you know, we want this show. And they gave us a platform that had so many beautiful optics. It's just beautiful. I mean, if you see the show now, it's something so different. You know, it's been elevated. So from CW to BET to Paramount, I feel like it's that was elementary, middle school. And now, woo, we all the way up. So I it's mean, it's a beautiful you, thing. It's Thank fabulous. You. And I love that you guys explore so many different themes. Like you guys talked about mental health in the first season, but even before, you guys will always tackle and talk about those important topics, societal issues. What can we expect this season for you guys to tackle? Wow. This season, without giving away too much, we're going to talk into the physical health of women, especially black women, and what we go through. You know, we've been... The the bearers of um, carrying the weight and being so strong for so long that right now it's like, um, wow, what happens when we break down and we lose that super of the power? What happens to us? Who are we? So um, I'm really, really, I'm proud of the work that we did this season. And I think it's going to really touch, move, and inspire a lot of women to check in with themselves, physically, mentally, and spiritually. I can't wait. I can't wait. I have to ask you, can we expect any cameos. I saw that you were on Family Reunion with Tia, med school. Is that crazy? That's Chris! Is med school going to make an appearance? You know, she, look, she, she thinking about it. We need one more season to bring that baby back. Yeah, but um, but no, no. Well, I, well, you never know. We got some legends coming back. How about that? We got some spice and we got some, um, we got enough spice to entice a little bit of everybody. Yeah. Before I let you go, you know, the talk, because I think you posted it on your social media, is that Glorilla is like your, <laughs> your little doppelganger of child. Yeah, her and Bow Wow. Is that crazy? I know. Wow. So can we expect her or somebody, you guys, to do something? Maybe you play her older sister, her aunt, her, her mom, maybe something like that. Well, I think so. Now, who is this? What, what all that is this? I think, I think, I think you just, I think, yes, honey. I think the buzz is, yes. I think we will. I think we will. I think we will. I know I would love to do it, okay? Listen. But, and it's so funny because Bow Wow, he played my son years ago. We did a project. But they had the thing with me, Glow, and Bow Wow, and Little Mama. And I played Little Mama's Mama. So, yeah. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? We need to put that out there. You look amazing, Queen. Congratulations on Thank you so much.